So, yeah. Sub so, guys, thought I would go through the 1.6 patch notice real quick here. So, see what they did. Last stand. The new game mode, PP mode. We have a new incursion, lost signal. And I'm pretty sure you guys already seen it because I've been posting a lot of that on my channel, right? This is the update 1.6. So I guess the new incursion and last stand game mode, you still need a DLC for even the incursion, it seems like. But other than that, the rest is free. Even the, so the Dark Zone map expansion is free for everyone. We have Dark Zone leaderboards, we have Dark Zone contamination events. We have legendary difficulty for four missions, which I played as well. It's Nepal, Warringate, Times Square, Power Relay. Also, there's only three actually. More options for character customization. Yeah, they added the weapon skins, backpack skins, and clothing and emotes, which you can buy for real money in the premium vendor terminal. Okay, here, here starts something interesting. So the timer to revive a, a down teammate, three to five, that's really good. Bleed no longer block sprint. Like, holy shit, man. That, that's just, I, I love this one. Instead, it reduced movement speed by 20, so it still reduced the movement speed. Not as much as before, since you can still sprint, right? And they changed the medkit so you can actually use them at full health and you will cleanse everything, all the status effects. Which is really good as well. It's a big nerf. This patch nerfs the status effects a lot. So for somebody that hates the status effects meta, like this is so good to see. Hip fire has been nerfed. The stability. Increased hip fire penalties. Yeah. So ADS is more of a thing. Even the player camera is different when you hip fire, yeah. Cool down when you roll, which I think a lot of console players is gonna be happy with. This is pretty awful. Body shot damage has been slightly increased. I know the reason behind this. I mean, I assume at least they wanted time to kill. <laughs> they, they wanted time to kill to be faster, right? But I still don't think this is the right way. I think it's better to just uh, up both body shot and headshot damage. That's why I made a video about that because I don't agree with this change. And they added <laughs> visual feedback when somebody used a medkit. If you somehow didn't notice before when people did it, now it's like super obvious. 0 42 at the PP multiplier. The last and gear normalization. So every item, even though you have a 229 or something, it will be up to 256 with max stats on everything. All the main attributes are max. I think still the secondary, like the major, like armor, health, uh, not armor, health, uh, crit chance and all that stuff gets maxed as well. Even performance modes and gear modes. All bonus, including mods, damage, everything max. So yeah, basically everything max. Armor is 35% now, which means talent as destructive or enemy armor damage is not as good anymore in PvP. Still are decent, but they lost a lot of value. This also makes the bear chest uh, less, less important, right? Still pretty good, but not as good as before. Fast trail between darks and checkpoints. They will no longer lose Darks on experience and fun when killed in Darks on if they are not rogue. Guess a lot of people are gonna be happy with that. And the Darks on is bigger as well, which means it's gonna be easier to farm it. Supply route gives you experience actually. Korea town is no longer a landmark, okay. Armor has been remo removed as a major and is replaced with health. So basically health is the new armor. Health is ridiculous way more efficient than any others made major stats so if you can go health you should probably go health unless you're doing something unique like a unique build i guess we got resist to all which which include resist all is basically all the status effects like burn shock bleed and all those together 
which is pretty cool but the amount of resist all you get from gear is so so freaking low which means it's not really worth to go for it in my opinion like it's way too low and yeah health will be resist all if you had it on your previous gear resist all is capped at 660 what you can't even get this high i don't know why is it why is it why is it capped it, or maybe they did raise the resist all, but they capped it at 60. I don't know. Let's continue. Resistance to status vague will now reduce the effect. Instead of having a chance to resist it, this means that the 10% bleed resist will lower the bleed damage and duration by 10% instead of having a 10% chance to ignore it. This is how I wanted it to be since like two weeks in, so this is really good to see. Fuck, hashtag fuck status effect. When applied repeatedly in a short time, the player will naturally build up resistance to this status effect. In other words, status effect will now have diminishing returns when applied repeatedly to a player. This is something I talked about as well a lot of times. Diminishing return, and finally we got that as well. If the player managed to build up 100% resistance to a status effect, they will resist it entirely. In the PTS, this was not possible. You could not get 100% resistance to one stat, even if you maxed everything. Yeah, I guess the only way you could was with a rejuvenated mask, right? But without that, that was not possible. Maybe they actually increased all resistance now. I hope. That would be actually pretty cool because then maybe all resist is worth to go for if you can get 100% on one stat at least. Maybe you could choose like be immune to burn or something like that. I doubt you can though, but we will see. Gear bonus have been moved around on various gear pieces. Here you can basically see the changes. For example, damage to elite used to be a major. Now it's uh, minor and enemy, ar enemy armor damage is a uh, major instead. You see new stuff like weapon stability on the backpack. On mask you have all resistance. Gloves have enemy armor damage now and skill haste. That's something new. To have more and yeah we have reload speed now on holster enemy armor damage is a major pistol damage is now doubled on gloves that's pretty cool i guess it's around 2000 something with all these changes the gear set here are the details of how existing gear should convert with this update yeah basically how everything changes I'm not gonna read that though. Check that yourself. Just pause the video. And we have nerfs to on the move and critical save. That's been talents I've been living with since the start of the game basically. And I saw that coming. I think the nerf is maybe a bit too big. But maybe it was time for this to get nerfed. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Battle body as well. Basically everything here got reduced in half. And they changed adrenaline so it's no longer apply a overheal which like if they didn't change that it would be so op i think with the med kits the way you can use them now with full hp changes the skill power basically they buffed skill power the way it works now is the more you if, if you actually commit a lot of electronics you will get rewarded if you did not do that then you will lose some effectiveness right so it's a buff to players that invest a lot of electronics if you barely put in anything then yeah you got you got nerfed a bit right i think that's still good though skill haste has a cap of 50 percent here you have all the changes to to skills sticky bomb is pretty big deal they added a warning and delay to sticky bomb this means that sticky bombs except for disruptor which is the new sticky flash will no longer detonate immediately but after some time so people actually get a chance to react which means that you can probably like i think you can still do sticky bomb one shot but people actually have a time to react so that's pretty cool because i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't want to go back to this sticky bomb one shot meta that we had First aid, we're now healing two steps instead of burst of healing. One instant, yeah. Okay, defibrillator, one burst, and then you get heal over time. Booster shot is nerfed as well. So from 15% ADR to 7.5.
Shock third, yeah, that's nothing really. All mods except shock base health reduced by 25, that's good. All mods skill power impact on health reduced. Mobile cover base cooldown increased by 33, okay. Tactical scanner crit chance increased by 20, crit damage reduced. So basically they up the crit on tactical scanner. Reduce the damage resilience on smart cover. Added a PV modifier to seeker mine. Increase the cooldown, which is good. And this one is the best one. I hope you fucking seeker mine players are here and read this. Stagger effect has been removed, which I said so many times it's so stupid that it staggers every little ball. So basically the cluster doesn't stagger anymore. Explosion damage has been decreased, bleed damage has been increased, so that's really good. There's still the other seeker mine that's pretty strong. There's one seeker mine, I'm not sure what the mod is, which does insane damage. I hope that is gonna be checked as well because that's a new one-shot seeker mine you can do. So they did nerf sig a bit, signature skills a bit, so instead of 30 sec, it's 60 seconds that you have to wait before you can use it again. You're basically immune. If you use a signature skill, you're Im immune for 60 seconds, <clears throat> which is good. I never really like, like the use of signature skills too much. I still don't think they really belong in PvP, to be honest, but that's my opinion. Tactical link damage bonus is decreased 10% in last stand. So that's only in last stand. Weapon stability will be more <coughs> hindered by the weight of fire bonus. That's good. Have gear set. Defense. Defense got a buff, I guess. Yeah, it did. So you don't have the skill mode, but you do have the crit chance. And now when the SMGs have crit chance back again, that's a pretty good buff. I think this is going to be pretty good now when you have lower armor and faster time to kill this is gonna be pretty de <coughs> decent if you want to play smg <coughs> reclaimer basically for support station now big nerf to alpha bridge you only get the third talent for free so you only have four talents instead of six but you don't have to unlock the requirements you get everything without specking like you can spec However you want, you get your four talents. Nothing big here. Banshee is buffed with 10% more damage if you are killed by a rogue. You will get 20% damage against rogues, right? If you're a non-rogue, if you died. Dead Eye now only works with zoom scopes. That means if you watch my channel, I use the RDS scope, I think which does zoom a little bit but it's still like it seems like a regular it is right not like a scope i don't think this is the hugest like the biggest nerf but it's a little nerf but i still think that it's gonna be really strong <clears throat> high end is now exotic phoenix credit cap is five thousand instead of two thousand scavenger box is now based by walter which means that will actually be used. <clears throat> Usable. Weekly assignment. Also get exotic. Blah, blah, blah. Crafting are now. Recalibrations are now unlimited. Yeah, so recalibration actually caps now at, at a price. So it can't go up to like 40 million or something like that. So that's good. For all the min-maxers out there. My fucking throat, dude. <clears throat> Base damage on all weapons and bedroom reduced. Blah, blah, blah. SMG got the crit chance, as I said. L86 got a little, little buff. All name weapons are exotic. FAMAS got an increased damage by 11.7%. You can see all the new exotic changes here on the weapons. If you haven't already. I'm not going to go through them all. MDR got a big damage buff. 
Yeah, you could just pause and check yourself here. <laughs> even show, <clears throat> even show supper got some just a little bit love. I don't think that's enough though. Crafting high end pistol, but no longer. Blah blah blah. Some survival changes here, nothing big. I think this one is pretty big though. Reviving a player from down state now will cost a medkit, so you can't really cheese with the risk. Kinda makes survival a bit harder. Increase weekly reward. A lot of bug fixes. There's way more bug fixes than this, I assume. But yeah, that's basically it. Didn't go through everything, but almost most of the stuff. But yeah, I thought I would just go through it quick, and if I didn't go through everything, you could just pause the video where I looked and read yourself. But hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, I will stream tomorrow on uh, when Last Stand releases. It will probably be a long stream, so yeah, hope to see you guys there. Have a nice day, take care, peace.